Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Quest 3. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! I know I said we were going to explore things, things close by the Shrine of Dharma, but... I actually thought about it and came to realize that uh, there isn't a lot over there that really serves us right now. Instead, we're going to we're going to head to Lancel. Which of course is that island that and due to uh, west of Alahan. It's a sizable island, so it's difficult to miss. <laughs> It is Australia, after all. Hooray! Village of Lancel. Small town with a gigantic shrine. It's the main attraction. What do you think, sir? Oh, yeah? And yeah, what could a picture possibly have to do with finding a key? We'll know soon enough. However, we have power buckles, which our thieves can equip. It's just as strong as that steel whip, but single target. Here, puppy, have some knuckle dusters. Can't really afford some for Ryan right now, but uh, I have something else in mind for him. Hello, ma'am. Oh yeah, what do I do? Oh! Yeah, it could prove useful. Oh, sir! Aha! They're very expensive and have one very situational use. There's no shrine here! It's supposed to be somewhere in the village, but I can't find it! Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Hmm. Loot! Give me loot! Yay! I like cat, puppy, bark at it! Aha! Treasure around here, you smell it? So where is this so where is this uh, massive shrine then? It's over here. And it's very massive. How in blazes can that other guy even miss it? <laughs> now the other item of treasure we're not gonna be able to get. Because we kinda need to be able to get through these doors to get it. Oh yeah. See. What do you think, slime? Yes. Ah, the slime here has the clue bat for us. That's a very potent clue. We should follow it. Where's Hedden Bear? That is England. Just a little curious as to where our boat ends up here. Ah, that's what I thought. If it had gone to no Eels, then our ship would have showed up here. <laughs> Not a lot of difference. Use the lips. And the men of war were no more. Hi, sir, puppy, where'd you get that? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Aha! England! It's a very slow fade in. Is that on, on that guy? You! Get your knuckle dusters! Not. Very glad I shut her up. Alright. Tell what I like here in England. Well, the people are very rude. Hicks aren't welcome! No shield, no sword! No service! Get the hell out of here! I have a sword and a shield, so give me service! This is the way you want to play it. Well... Shut those in the bag! Take this, punk! Ha! Hooray, we're in! This invisibility herb does not last terribly long, as shown. But on the upside, nobody here has has the nerve to actually throw us out, so uh, as long as we don't try and walk past that guard again, we'll be fine. There's one more item out here. It's on the other side of the path. Woo! There are items around here, too! Anything up here? Nope. Oh. Hello, sir! Oh, alright. Greeting, sire! Oh, I'm a generous king. I won't make a fool of you. Thank you! You need experience. By the way, I bought this castle's basement. I can't solve the puzzle with the rocks. You should try your luck at it and see what happens. Alrighty. In the far western seas lies a recently discovered continent. A tribe of Indian people called the Sioux live there. I think that's how it's pronounced. Yes, he is. Funnily enough, the royalty are the nicest people here. Yup. Yeah, you gonna do something about it? Or do I get to run you through? Clear off. Jerk. No. Well, why do you ask, then? <laughs> Silly person. Ah! It's good to know. Also, yoink! Let's go meet some more folk around the castle. Hello, sir! Uh. Yeah, they're not very helpful, are they? Hello, ma'am! No. Sure, perhaps we can talk sometime. If only you could do something about the entrance fee to the castle. Take the manual. Then we shall take the dress. Which, uh... Shove those in the bag. Lady manual gives the ladylike personality. Which, uh... <laughs> which we've already seen. Which we've already seen the stats for, so off into the bag with that. 
But the party dress is, of course, female only. However, it's also... It's also very specific on what classes can equip it. That includes the goof-off. It might be one of the best armors for a goof-off in the game. It is a very good suit of piece of armor. And here is its masculine equivalent. I'm not sure what classes can equip this. I would presume the goof off. But uh, also our thieves can equip it. So, uh. Oh, we'll let Ryan suit up. Yay! Right. What do you think? You dry up an entire ocean. Well, that's what I've heard. I would want to dry up the ocean? Well, to get at some shrunken and strong. Sunken shrine. Yes, it hasn't shrank. It didn't shrink, it sank. <laughs> yeah, I bet. So, about this puzzle down here in the basement. It is, of course, a pushing puzzle. And it is. And the game has helped us out by limiting us to full tile movement instead of the usual half steps. It's kind of important as that really helps us helps us to keep from messing up. Do be careful though, you can push the push the rocks into the water. That doesn't help. <laughs> Our prize is the thirsty pitcher. Hmm. Right. Well, perhaps we should show it to the king. What do you think? Yeah, this is the pitcher. <laughs> of course, they aren't going to believe us. Found it. Yes, sire. So that's where the thirsty pitcher was hidden. I completely forgot about about that. I completely forgot the last king informed me about that. Keep it though. You certainly earned it. Thank you, sire. Let's get out of here. Let's just travel to new areas. Make us a journey to the west. Eventually. Headed, we're headed to that spot on the map. Which, uh, good grief, that'd be the middle of the Arctic Ocean. The North Pole, apparently, is where we're headed. Not worry about the details of the map or the uh, lack of ice that we're that we're getting through, and just be thankful for it. <laughs> oh dear! Tentacles are perhaps some of the most dangerous things we can find on out at sea. Hopefully we can take it on. Ow! That really hurts. You think those things can attack twice if they if they really feel like messing you up?
Oh well. still kind of seems underwater. But we have ourselves the key that can open any door. Yay! And just up here, we have another medal. Off to the bag with a lot of them. Hello, sir! Allow me to tell you an old tale. The Sekai's navel lies deep in the Necrogon Mountains. The mountains are south of the Isis Desert. I thought Gaia's navel was on an island in the middle of the ocean. Oh, whatever. So one group says says that guy's navel is here, and no, and the skeleton says this guy's navel is here. Hard to say who to believe. But clearly the tides have come back in. went down. And so did he. This where I want to be? No, I want to be south of here. Oh dear. Ow! Kill it! Someone kill it! Jeez. All that so we can return to more. guys could be dangerous. Why do we want to come here? Well, specifically so that we can take the item that's locked away in the market. Aha! Hooray! Let's go to other places. Which have these locked doors. Starting nicely here in Rumbly. But there's two locked doors for us to deal with. The first one is here in the basement. Where we can find us an Expel Shield. Which is... Which is a shield that is better than the one we've got already. It's better than our magical shield defense-wise. But, uh... It doesn't seem to have any other particular effect going for it. We'll let Bulma use it. But she's lacking on the defense. And we have us an assassin dagger. 
Which is what we'll let Ryan use. The assassin dagger, er, uh, actually has the same effect as the poison needle in that it can instantly kill a tar its target. However, it does actual damage. Now, this has its own drawback in that, uh, since it does actual damage, that means it's not guaranteed to hit enemies with high defense. So, keep the poison dagger around. Let's get out of here. We come to this shrine that's north of, of Romilly. Where? We know there's an item sitting around here. Where is it? It's right here. <laughs> so I was right. Where is this shrine to... Where's the, the travel door taking us? Well, it's taking us to a shrine that we passed on our way to to picking up the final key. Yes, yeah, so this is that small shrine that we passed by on the island. But uh, beyond that small metal, there's nothing of value here. In a way, that's not entirely true. Because, uh, it is the only way of getting to an area we'll need to reach later. But this shrine here, when we came out of, a uh, what was it called? We used the king's letter with, with the dwarf. Yes, Bond's Tunnel. I said if we went north, then, we'd, then we would reach Nin. This is that inn. Welcome. This is Olivia's promontory. She dove off here to her death after losing her husband in a storm at sea. They say that her voice can still be heard in the wind, calling out to her husband. If someone would just leave something of her beloved Eric by the cliff, surely she would finally be able to rest in peace. But supposedly, Eric's soul is stuck on board a ghost ship somewhere at sea. It's a sad tale. We'll have to find that ghost ship. And in other news... Hello, sir! Apparently, the King of Samanosa has changed. I heard that he banished the hero Simon from the town. Samanosa is west of this shrine, on the foot of the mountains. This travel door will take us will take us to the uh, to the, the travel door that was on the right at the at that island shrine. Now the one with the three travel doors that only had the small metal for us. As for outside this shrine, the air around here is actually very dangerous, so uh, we don't want to be here. But where is it? Somewhere in South America. <laughs> Let's go to more relevant areas. And here at the ghost village of Tadenki, well, en route, our hero has learned, has gained the ability to forget. Which, uh, uh with the recall and remember spells, remember items and information, forget lets him forget them. But, uh, I can't seem to get those to, to work for me. Maybe it's because I need to forget some stuff. Regardless, hello, sir. Waited so long for this day to come. The day that I would meet the hero. Here, please take this orb. Take the scattered orbs to the, to the south, to Limeland. You must place the six orbs, orbs on the altars there to receive what you desire. Where's Limeland? Well, that's Antarctica. Plain and simple. And if we, if we, we uh, stay, if we were to stay and rest, then uh, we'd find that the writing on the wall has changed to him, to him being glad to have, to have given the orb to the hero. Oh well, we have one last place to visit. And that's home. The 
two particular places for us to check. Or to stop by. One is down here in the well. The metal at the small metal mansion. Funny that they call it a mansion when it's just a shack down in the well. But regardless, there you are, sir. Having found 35, we are rewarded with smart glasses. If we can get to 50, we will receive a ninja suit. But the smart glasses, uh, when used, will increase your wisdom by 15 points, and they they also give you the the personality of smart. Yeah, you know, which is which is the one that Bulma started with. Might be of use to me later, but not so much right now. The other area we need to visit is in the castle. Where in the castle? Why well, the dungeon, of course. <laughs> Where else would we find these doors? Shoot! I, Okota, will not die here in prison! I don't need your help either! Rest assured I'll escape this cell all by my lonesome. Fair enough. This guard literally takes no notice that we're opening the doors. <laughs> Hello. Uh, sure. Okay. Apparently, there is a castle somewhere where lives the Dragon Queen. Fair enough. Suppose that could be of value. But with the Strength Seed, we've gotten everything of being of note. Because, uh... Well, for the most part, in all the other... In all the other places... The other two, uh... Of these locked doors that we've seen... Were at the lighthouse south of... South of Portoga? And at the, uh... Pat and at the grassy patch, patch, uh, near, near, um, Reeve? That town just, just north of, uh, Allahan. But, uh, behind those are just travel doors that link to the two places. So it's not a, so it's not very useful to us. But next time, we shall travel to places that'll hopefully be of use to us. We'll see you then. Later.